Alright everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox Adventures! In the last episode, we failed to get this Krizoa spirit that also looks like an esophagus, gis, gis. And actually, it looks more like a stomach. I said it's a sarcophagus before, but it actually looks more like a stomach than anything else. Okay, pick up the freaking horn. Um, this is actually a different recording session. So, to be honest, I don't remember any of this. Which is kind of stupid, because I mean, I'm probably going to fail this again. Put that in there. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You don't know you're beautiful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, great. That would go over he here. Huh? Huh? I'm doing pretty good, right? Yeah, I am. Hell yeah, I am. Damn, girl. Look at that. What is that? What, the what is that? Let's put it there. Nope. Um. Seriously, what is that? That's supposed to represent like a totem piece? Oh, of course. I'm gonna fail this again, aren't I? Oh my good, pick it up! Oh, Fox McCloud. Is that supposed to represent a totem piece? That's a pretty freaking terrible. Is it? Of course it is. Great. That was dumb. That looks nothing like anything at all. Uh, what's this one? Nope. I'm gonna fail. Well then. Apparently this is a representative of an asteroid because you know it's a rock in that space. I'm gonna fail. Nope. Or am I? Or am I? Oh! Oh! Cut it close! Did, what did I fail? Did I not do it? Did I miss one? I, pr I missed one, didn't I? Damn it! I'll be right back again. <laughs> Come on, you freaking talking stomach head with tentacles! This time, I'm deadly serious this time. This goes right here! I feel like this music, for some reason, reminds me of Epic, epic Meal Time. I, I feel like quoting Epic Meal Time videos now, however, I really don't watch many Epic Meal Time videos, so I don't, I would not be the right person to quote such a thing. We're gonna place our bacon on there! Fuck yeah! That, that's, that's really it. That's, that's all I got. Yep, um, I tried. GG to me. A skiddly diddly d. Why do I always say a skiddly diddly d when I'm trying to like rhyme or something? It's like seriously, that's the best thing you can come up with. You're pathetic, man. No, I'm not. I'm just misunderstood. I'm gonna be the best rapper to have ever lived one day. Just you wait. And yes, that's a promise. No, it's not. Okay, now let's pick up. The thing is, these are really hard to see. Like I didn't even see this one before. Holy crap! Wait, that's a snow horn horn. Um. Don't tell me I'm gonna fail this again, am I? That's Moon Mountain Pass. Is this? There's no other place for it. Okay. I see. How are we gonna make this? Oh boy. Oh, jolly G. Me. Five. Four. Holy crap. Oh my god. I'm cutting close. I'm cutting close. Oh, oh god. Okay. Okay. That actually wasn't that close. One second. Actually, that is pretty close. I guess, right? You could call it pretty close. I'm having a heart attack right now. Ha ha ha. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, epic panning shots. Yay, that took way too many attempts. Three attempts for this. It's like, really? Really? We just played an entire game based around these objects, and I couldn't figure out which goes where. Really, man? There we go. Look at those purple eyes. I still think look pretty freaking awesome, and I will continue to remind you guys that every single time. You may have just heard my voice get weird there. It's because I totally took out my headphones to see if there's music coming out of my TV or sound effects or stuff. This is it, Tricky. It's time to say goodbye. Peace out, bitch! I know you're right, Fox. It's just... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna miss you, too. Without your help, this mission would have failed. So I've got something for you. Oh! Prince Tricky, Earthwalker, you are now an honorary member of the Star Fox team. Dad, did you hear that? Me, a member of Star Fox. Yeah, now put him in our wing. Do I get my own spaceship? <laughs> yes. Ha <laughs> 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 Awkward laughing. <laughs> Just don't make it too long, okay? That's what she said. Just don't make it too long. Really? That was bad. Oh, but he's still following me. And he's still laughing. But does he actually have it? Yes, he does. He has the badge on his head. I'm gonna be a space man. <laughs> a space man. That's actually pretty funny. I gotta admit. That's pretty freaking hilarious. Okay, bye, Jakey. Bye. Oh, he did stop following me. 
Aww. It's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot this happens. And I'm not even sure if he does come back with me to Dinosaur Planet or not. Interesting. But it is pretty close to the end of the game, so maybe... I'm hoping that I've collected all the fuel cells that, you know, I need to collect. Because if not, then I'm going to feel terror bad. Due to the fact that I said I was going to get all of them in this game. And honestly, I, like I said before, I don't know which ones I've missed and which ones I've gotten at this point. I'm pretty sure I've gotten all of them. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Let's go, Fox! Get that spirit directly back to the Crusoe Palace! I am adjusting your flight path so that you will land at the top of the palace. As soon as you get there, head down inside to release the spirit. Pepper out! Okay, Pepper, um, that's kind of bad news bears due to the fact that, um, I still had stuff to show, like buying the rest of the fuel cells as well as the cheat tokens. So I'm hoping this is not the point of no return. However, losing Tricky might actually mean it is the point of no return. So that might be sad news bears for everybody. Why haven't I done this? I did it, Fox! The force field is up! Okay, so honestly, they're talking- uh, Pepper just said he readjusted our flight path so we would land on top of Crisola Palace. You see this? So, my question is, why the hell did he do this to begin with? When I've got Crisola Spear, why can't I just fly up and then fly back and land on top of this place, huh? Seriously? <sighs> Whatever. Loser. So, do not care. Okay, so now we're on top of the Kazool Palace. Oh boy. And we're gonna go this way. And where's this way, you may be asking? Why it's this way, of course. Um, this might be the Kazool Spirit that we place inside of this head. Is it? No, it is not. Interesting. Very interesting, indubitably. Alright then, so, I guess we need to go down? Maybe? <laughs> That's a cutscene. Nope, okay, there's no cutscene that elopes as you get on here. I don't know why I want to say the word elopes for. It's kind of weird that I wanted to say that, actually. But, you know, can I fly again? No, I cannot. They're like, ha <laughs> you're not going anywhere, you stupid little titty tits. <clears throat> so I guess we're going down then, considering we can't use that one pad to use the maxi pad, you know? Right? No? Uh, use the freaking pad to put the spirit in, and I have to go find another one. Um... Not there. Is it the next level down? You know, the next level! I gotta sneeze! Ah! <coughs> so I've seen two movies in the past, like, two days. Which is, like, a record for me, because I almost never watch movies. I watched Kick-Ass, which was a freaking fantastic movie. I can't just use that again. Nope, I can't. Okay. <coughs> Kick-Ass was a freaking awesome movie. It was actually, like, a lot cooler than I was expecting it to be. I was told it was actually kind of a lame movie, so I wasn't expecting much. Yeah, it was awesome. I can't wait for Kick-Ass 2. I'm actually super duper excited for that. And I also watched In Time. Which, <clears throat> I believe a trailer came out for that movie, like, long, long time ago. And I remember seeing it going, oh my god, that movie looks amazing. By the way, where the hell are we going? I don't know where this takes me. And considering we didn't have to do anything to open this up. That kind of worries me a bit. It is! What? Okay, okay, seriously, get out of here, you're ruining the moment! Okay, yeah, so in time, I saw a trailer for that a long time ago, and I was like, wow, this movie looks amazing, and I finally got to see it last night at a friend's house. And yeah, it was pretty good, I mean, it wasn't the best movie, like, there's there's some cheesy, like, special effects. Like, at one point, a car flips over, like, as the car flips over, you can see inside the car, and there's clearly no one in the car, but of course there were people driving the car, so it's like, ha, that's really cheesy. But otherwise, it's a really freaking awesome concept. But what the concept is, is there's no money, and like, how you pay is through the time of your life, and there's like a clock on your arm. And it's like, it costs one minute to buy a chocolate bar of your life, literally. And once you hit zero, you die! Okay, well, let's watch the floating head. Fly up. Yay, we need one more.
What does this mean? Why did that open? Find out next time! <clears throat> or this time. <coughs> okay, I just choked on my drink. <coughs> I'm okay. It's only alcohol. <coughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The movie is pretty great. Pretty much, once you hit the age of 25, you stop aging in that movie. Aging! And that's when your clock starts on your arm, and it's like green numbers, and you can steal time, you can take time. It's actually a really awesome, like, concept that wasn't, like I said, it wasn't the best movie ever I've ever seen. Definitely not. Some of the acting was kind of subpar, and... The movie, I kind of felt like the movie, they didn't know where to go with it. Seriously, so, like, it didn't feel, I didn't really, wasn't satisfied with the ending at all. It just wasn't really an ending, it was just kind of like... I don't want to say cliffhanger, because it wasn't a cliffhanger, it was more of just like, you know... Nothing really big happened. They're just doing the same old thing. Plus, the movie was just pretty much one giant chase scene. But it was still pretty good, you know, bro. <clears throat> I'm trying to be as spoiler free as possible. So if you just if, go watch the trailer on YouTube for in time trailer, because that was pretty. It was pretty good, if you ask me. If you ask me, sucker. Okay. So now we have man back here, and. This thingamabobber opened up, so it's like, hooray, bro, broski, you know, dog, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so what's this warp pad lead me to the last result of spirit, or to something completely different? You decide! Actually, you don't decide. But actually, um, due to the fact that this is the point of no return, and I haven't shown everything I want to, most notably the fuel cells, what I'm going to actually do, is I'm going to meet you back here. I'm going to... Pretty much end my game right now. I'm not really end my game. I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna pretty much turn off my game because I saved the last time I saved it was before I got the last Crusoe of Spirit. So I'm assuming I can leave the shrine and then I'll go back to Thorntail Hall. I'll get all the fuel cells. I'll what else can I? Um, I'll show the cheat tokens. Well, I could easily just do that in a bonus episode. Eh. But anyways, yes, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Chris. And I'll see you next time for some more backtracking and Star Fox adventures. Hooray! Peace!